Hi all students and viewers. In today's video, we will be discussing about normal secondary growth in anona stem. Before studying the normal secondary growth, we must know the meaning of primary growth. So let's see what primary growth is. So the growth taking place in stem due to the activity of apical meri stem. Now this growth may be taking place in stem, may be taking place in roots, but the growth is taking place due to activity of apical meri stem that may be root apical meri stem or shoot apical meri stem and such growth is called as a primary growth. You can see here in the very first picture that stem is very small like when plant is growing in its first year it is very young less than one year old at that time the thickness of the stem is very less and it is growing lengthwise and such type of growth is actually called as primary growth but the secondary growth is little bit different than that let's see secondary growth that is increase in girth or thickness of stem of plant is called as secondary growth another definition is given increase in girth or thickness of stem due to the activity of cambium is called as secondary growth so if you see here this is one year old stem where you can see primary growth as it grows see the thickness and as it grows further there is increase in the girth here you can see this girth is very less from the center from the center it is little bit more than that and from the size biggest of all so when there is increase in the girth such type of growth is called as secondary growth before studying the secondary growth we must know the cambium as we seen in the definition so here you can see a very young stem in this young stem so many vascular bundles are arranged in a ring format and this vascular bundle is enlarged here and here you can see one kind of tissue is present this tissue is called as xylem another kind of tissue is there this one this is called as phloem and in between that again a kind of tissue you can see this one this is actually called as cambium okay so the cambium present within the vascular bundle is called as vascular or fascicular cambium vascular because it is associated with vascular bundle and this fascicular itself is a latin word which in english means bundle so actually this vascular bundle is having this kind of cambium that's why this is also synonymously called as fascicular cambium now another kind of cambium is there that we will see here so as you seen in the previous slide there were vascular bundles arranged in a ring like this but in between these vascular bundles such type of cambium was absent when this kind of cambium is present there in between two vascular bundles here you can see here you can see here also you can see so this kind of vascular bundle or this kind of vascular cambium present in between two bundles this is one and this is two this is actually called as interfascicular cambium so here it is given the cambium developed in between two vascular bundles is called as interfascicular cambium so you have understood the meaning that the cambium present within this this is called as a fascicular or vascular cambium and the cambium between this 
this is called as interfascicular cannula. Here, let us understand the process of secondary growth. If you see this first figure, where you can see four vascular bundles are there. In these four vascular bundles, here you can see a cambium. And this cambium is called as vascular cambium. This is called as a vascular cambium. As this stem grows further, before actual taking place the secondary growth, see what is the difference in this. Same vascular bundles are there. Within the same vascular bundles, cambium is there. This one, this one and this one. But the difference in this and this figure is there that you can see here cambium is developed and this cambium is called as interfascicular cambium. This is called as interfascicular cambium. Earlier, cambium present only here within the vascular bundle so that xylem is formed here and phloem is formed outside. But here nothing is getting formed. Here actually what is present in between these here parenchymatous tissue is present, medullary rays are present similarly here but as you see that there is development of this cambium this cambium starts development of xylem inside development of xylem inside everywhere and on the other side it starts development of phloem outside continuous and this process goes on throughout the life of plant. This is actually secondary growth. We can see the details of normal secondary growth in next few slides. Same diagram here I have repeated where you can see the vascular bundles are arranged in a ring. In between that there is vascular cambium or fascicular cambium same after maturation here you can see vascular bundles are there within that cambium is present and in between that also cambium is there so this cambium forms xylem inside and it forms phloem outside and this process continuously grow, goes on here in the center you can see the label pith. Here this cambium is forming primary xylem towards inner side and here towards the peripheral region of the cambium it is forming secondary xylem. Actually it should reflect here. Then here you can see vascular cambium this one and outside this part you can see phloem so this is xylem this is cambium and this is phloem outside this stellar region outside of this region you can see this part this is actually called as a cortex this zone and this outermost layer that is called as epidermis we will see further details here you can see, actually if you consider that this is the vascular bundle, this is the vascular bundle, this is the vascular bundle, this part is cambium, this part is cambium, this part is cambium. It is continuously forming xylem inside. See, xylem is inside. I will change the color. It is continuously forming phloem outside phloem 
outside my outside now what happened here the cambium is formed in between these two i'll change the color here here so this cambium has also started formation of xylem inside and similarly it has started development of phloem outside now what happens here you can see two different zones this one zone is there this is called as a primary xylem and this is called as secondary xylem and here you can see this part is called as phloem this part is called as secondary phloem okay and here you can see the cortical zone now if you see this is one year old as here you can see two different layers this is one layer and this is another layer of xylem but as this growth goes further see how happens this is first layer of xylem this is second layer of xylem actually this is formed in rainy season this is formed in winter and summer season and this patch up to constitute to one year again in next season there is development of this patch and in the next winter season there is development of this patch this process is still going on so this patch constitute second year and four rows this one two three and four this showing that it is of two year old okay here it is represented as four but it is not so it is showing four a uh, two year old growth now here is actually cambium and this part only this part this is phloem so one thing can be noted that this cambium is forming maximum amount of xylem inside but least of amount of phloem outside so activity of this cambium inside is more and outside it is extremely less this is actually an on a stem where you can see here somewhere this portion is actually primary xylem this is newly formed secondary xylem somewhere here is cambium and here you can see small patch this i change the color this patch you can see this small patch throughout this this is actually phloem and this part is there that is cortex so as this goes to the next year again it will continuously develop and there will be increase in the thickness of this stem and the significance of secondary growth the secondary growth makes plant grow wider as in primary growth it is small as secondary growth is taking place there is increase in girth and thickness secondary growth occurs in the lateral meristems which are found in tree trunk and branches as we have seen this cambium that is called as fascicular cambium and another cambium is there in between these two that is called as interfascicular cambium and this together is called as lateral meristem and this is bringing about 
the secondary growth and then another significance is there that secondary growth allows trees to live longer so this way we have finished the study of normal secondary growth thank you